The Global Event Tech Summit is our two-day conference to talk about all things event tech. We've had a great two days. We've had lots of insightful sessions, one-on-one networking opportunities, meetings and product demos. With topics ranging from event automation to inclusion in tech, we're really at the beating heart of our industry. And here are our favourite bits. I think the panel was designed and and really useful to look at it sparking a conversation around inclusivity across events. I think the beauty was, yes, it's about tech, but it opened a wider conversation of what does inclusivity mean? We're here to sort of like broaden our horizons and sort of way of thinking. We just wanted to sort of see some of the other things the sector's doing. We don't always come to these sort of things, so it's been really interesting to see what other companies are doing out there and sort of get some ideas to sort of bring into our own events. So we're definitely looking at working with more um, hybrid event options. We're super keen on using our event content and transferring that into podcasts or shorts or videos. I've loved the flow between each of the different sessions and how the sessions really, really feed into each other. Everything from how we use data to that inclusion piece to kind of keeping your audience connected. There's been a really, really strong thread um, throughout the whole conference. Um, but I love the fact that there's been regular breaks, you know, um, installed for networking and, and, and kind of building a community. Data is a massive broad subject, uh, especially in the event space from retention and admissions and footprints. So I had lots of good conversations on that, really interesting perspective. And, and my sort of key takeaways is not to get overblown by the total amount of data, focus on the departmental data. And so if you're an SEO person, totally focus on SEO data, don't worry about the rest keep things simple uh, and from our perspective with what we do it's uh, it's understanding how to collect the right data for climate impact assessments. I mean everybody today has been super interesting and actually it's really nice to see people that are really passionate about what they do. So my session was about how to keep your audience switched on so pretty much about engagement and I would say the takeaways are firstly try and tell some stories like make sure you can connect with your audience in a way that's a synergy, you know, what's about me and then about you that brings us together and why should you be here? Because if you get that bit wrong, I think the rest is done. Obviously the pandemic massively accelerated the use of technology uh, within events, but we ran a, a survey over, over the summer and found that less than 50% of uh, event organisers have a single source of truth for their data. Yet everyone's talking about using AI. Unless you've got really good data, the AI is not going to work, work very well. And I think that is going to lead to change. Those, those moments to take a step out and just have those kind of uncomfortable, courageous conversations with people, they make a real difference in terms of progress. So it'd be really interesting to see what comes from this and what we see next year and how far we've come. We hope you've enjoyed the Global Event Tech Summit as much as we have. Cameron, what's been your key takeaway? I think we've implemented a load of great tools that have increased the interactivity of the event. We've had some really insightful questions from our audience. How about you, Louisa? Oh, I think it's got to be the informal conversations I've had with our delegates. They're just, they seem to be so much more in the know with the evolving technology. And if you want to stay in the know about conferences, event tech, you can visit conference-news.co.uk. I think that is it from the Global Event Tech Summit. Yeah, we hope you had a great time and we'll see you next year.